Hi guys, it's Nick at Talk and Review. So this review is going to be on Hereditary. Uh, so I watched this film last night. So I was really excited about this one. So I'd seen all the reviews saying it's a, an amazing horror film. And yeah, I was really excited for this one. So my overall thoughts on this one, I'm not sure. I'm not sure whether it's a, bear with me, plane. Yeah, so I'm not too sure on whether I think that this film is a a good horror or whether it's a real crap horror film. Um, so with the showing that I watched, um, there was four people that walked out and during all the scares in the film the audience was laughing all the way through so I think in my show in any way it didn't have um, the impact that it was supposed to have basically and for me the, the disappointing thing for me was the acting is really really good and it's it's just the ending of the film, it's just really let me down. Um, Tony Collette is awesome in it, her acting is brilliant. You've got Gabriel Byrne, who he's always great. I really loved Gabriel in End of Days with Schwarzenegger, where he played the devil. Awesome film. The, the film. I thought initially was going to focus on the girl and then it takes a bit of a turn and you think okay could be going in a, another direction so it's not going to focus on the daughter and then in my mind I thought it was going to go into a bit of fight club of where he, he thinks he's doing something but he's not actually doing it and I thought that's what Tony Collette's character was doing of where I thought I was solely going to focus on her being a bit of a um, schizophrenic and blaming her sleepwalking when actually she's doing everything herself but again, no, it didn't turn out like that and there was I felt like there was a lot of nods to a lot of old classic films so Nightmare on Elm Street and um, there's a scene in the classrooms of where the son is looking around the classroom things are happening but everyone's like not noticing what's going on it's dead still and that reminded me of uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and there was a bit of I felt like there was a bit of Evil Dead the older ones not the, the remake uh, just in terms of just the way that the the scares went on the yeah the I don't want to go into it too much because in case, in case you haven't seen it I don't want to spoil it there are some good moments in it but I don't know I think it was just there was too much going on it was a very very slow start to the film it go really really slow do a little something which is making you want more then go really really slow for a longer time something in slow back and forth until the finale of where it, uh, it all kicked off um, would I watch it again? no I won't watch it again um, a lot of people comparing it to like Exorcist and saying this is something fresh and new I wouldn't compare it to Exorcist at all. Um, Exorcist is a different kind of beast of a film. Um, it is different, I'll give it that. And I don't know if that's what the, the, the critics like, it's something different, but it wasn't for me. Um, so go give it a watch, might be for you, but yeah, not for me I'm afraid. So let us know your thoughts down below guys, drop a comment on did you like the film or 
didn't, didn't you like the film at all um, give us a big thumbs up uh, make sure that you share the video because it really helps our channel and we're trying to grow so the more that our audience expands the the bigger that we can uh, get and the more reviews we can get out to you guys cheers guys